I can't believe it's my last first day at MIT. When you're in the thick of things, everything may seem to take forever, but looking back, my first three years at MIT just flew by. Now I'm a senior, and in less than nine months from now, I'm going to be receiving my degree in aerospace engineering. And my time as an undergrad will be done. So for my last two semesters, I'm really going to soak it all in, go for every opportunity that intrigues me, and I'm going to take you all along for the ride. This is my life at MIT, episode one. Hi guys, it's Cajun My Tech Guy here, and if you're new to this channel, I love all things tech, so I like reviewing and comparing different tech products, but I also like making these types of vlogs where along with taking you around for my day, I also talk about what it takes to succeed at any university and specifically at MIT. In this video, I'll be talking about how I will be making the most out of my senior year. So yeah, right now I'm about to head to class, so see you on the other side. So right now it's day one. I really can't believe it's my last first day of classes. Right now, I'm heading across the bridge like always. I'm gonna head to Principal's Autonomy. This class is a lot further than I expected, so I actually have to rush a bit. So I'll see you there. Especially when you're in college, time is your most valuable resource. No matter how many things you're interested in or want to do, you can't do it all because there simply isn't enough time. Something that I've learned throughout my time at MIT is that you don't always have to work harder than everybody else. Instead, you could just work smarter. I'm really proud to have Chegg as the sponsor of today's video because they really are the smarter way to student. They aren't just a place where you can affordably rent, buy, and sell books. Chegg can help in all aspects of a student's life. I don't know how many times I've caught myself just desperately Googling answers to a certain question or a certain concept. With Chegg, it's like having that really smart friend 24 seven that'll walk you through step by step on how to do specific problems. It can even help you with your writing by helping with grammar and citing sources. And the best part is you can get all this help 24 seven. You won't have to ever feel bad asking for help at two in the morning. I know in the past I felt a bit intimidated to go up to a TA or professor to ask specific questions. And even though I shouldn't have been intimidated, Chegg was a good first step to help me clarify some concepts for myself. And at the end, I was clear enough on the certain concept where I didn't even have to ask the question at all. And lastly, Chegg has this cool math solver that I don't think too many people know about, but it's actually really great. It can do anything from basic algebraic operations and solving systems of equations to more complicated calculus and linear algebra operations. Make sure to check out Chegg using this link and the link will also be in the description below. So after 16410, which was Principles of Autonomy, I ended up going to 1806, which is the linear algebra class. There's actually a bunch of people from freshmen to seniors in that class, even grad students I saw. So it's a lot different than last year. Last year I took all my classes with Timmy and a bunch of aerospace kids. And now there's just a wide range of people. Got to meet a lot of new people. So it'll be cool. Right now I have a little lunch with my interface cohort, which is the summer program I got in before MIT. So let's see. So that lunch I just had was with people that I met the summer before my freshman year. I've always talked about how important it is to create connections and events like this are a great way of maintaining those connections as well. 
Unfortunately, the Office of Minority Education, which is the overall office supporting all of these different programs and events, does a great job of keeping us all connected. And it's also free food, and as a college student, that's valuable in its own right. So we just got out of 1441, which is public finance and policy. I'm here with Johan. Hi. How was that class, Johan? It was really interesting. Um, the professor right now gives a broad overview of what we're going to be learning, specifically how government does spending and all its like all the projects that they put out, all the policies they put in, and all the reasons behind them. So I think it's going to be a really fun semester because I'll be learning personally new material on a subject matter that I never learned before. So yeah. Yeah, and right now I think Johan's done for the day. Yes, I am. I am. I'm going home. Finally! But I have one more class, so that's why I'm heading back inside. Yeah, he's just going home, so I'll see you in class. So I just got out of my last class for the day. Um, it was a lot smaller than I expected. There weren't really too many people. Like I was there people. with Sam. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like one dinner table type setting. And yeah, how was that? It's pretty good. Uh, pretty short class today. Just kind of a syllabus, first day of school, everything. Uh, so we just went over some of the outline of the course and the different units we'll be talking about. Started way back in the beginning. This class is called uh, STS 004 is the course number. It covers the intersections of science and technology in the world. Yeah, so I mean it seems like a pretty chill class and it's going to be some useful info and some info that like I didn't know about and I'm actually interested in learning. So right now we actually got out a full almost hour early. So we're just like chilling here in Killian. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a great day today. It's a beautiful day. And yeah, um, I have a laureate we both have a laureates and leaders event later, so that's where we'd be heading next. I recall the times you said you're sorry. Old standby. We're holy when we touch anyhow. Holy when we touch anyhow. Give me a chance to make it right. Just let me touch you like the first time. We don't need answers to survive. Hey, so we just got out of this event. So it's at a graduate advising seminar that both KG and I are in. Basically, we had some dinner and brought in a bunch of grad students with uh, similar interests as we, as we do to sort of discuss the grad application process and their opinions on the departments and the best way to go about the challenging process of applications. Yeah, so we had some great conversations and we were able to get dinner even for tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'm going to head back to the house. I'm going to work on some videos for this channel. I'm going to go back and actually register for the GRE. Hopefully take it late September. Yeah, so see you on the other side. This year, I'm also expanding my team beyond just me. As many of you have noticed, I do have a full course load and I also manage this YouTube channel and honestly, it takes a lot of time. So I think I'm actually trying to enjoy my time senior year and actually have some moments to myself because I always put my head down and just keep grinding, but I don't really take that moment to just appreciate what I have and appreciate the moments that are happening around me. So I think expanding my team will help me with that and also help with continuing to push out quality content for you guys. We touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep up with the black guys Man, Somewhere what, what in between our secrets There's an imminent storm So I ended up just going back working on my video for a bit and just relaxed with the cat, with a couple of the bros and right now we're trying to get a quick workout in before the gym closes. I'm here with Sebastian, so see you inside. I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe, but 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me, like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side? I don't know if you...
thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems, on problems. I solve them, I run through the money The pressure be calling, left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling, phone and progression It's all that I wanted, the phone and affection I summon and dub it, cause check out problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money the press will be calling Staying physically fit is another major goal of mine for the next two semesters. Starting this past summer, I've worked out more consistently where I'm either lifting or playing basketball every day of the week. And honestly, I just feel a lot better. I feel a higher energy level, I'm sleeping better, and my overall vibe has just been more positive, knowing that I'm taking care of my body. So yeah, of course, I'm going to continue to play basketball because I love playing basketball, but I'm also going to continue to lift to keep that aspect of my life healthy as well. So we just got back from the gym. We just took the shuttle back across the river. It was actually a really great workout. I think we both had a good time. Both got a good pump in. And I think I'm gonna head to sleep a little earlier this time. Last semester was a lot of like 4 a.m. nights, 3 a.m. nights, but I have a lot of early classes this semester, so I can't be doing that. So I'm trying to correct my sleeping patterns right now. Probably just get it back in, relax, and go to sleep. So I'm back in the room and honestly I still can't believe that this is my last first day at MIT. I'm really going to try to make the most out of every opportunity. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to spend as much time with the people that I care about as possible. And really just soak in the fact that I'm going to be an undergraduate student for just one more year. I know it's pretty cliche when people say, oh the time just flies by, but honestly I feel like I was in freshman year just last week, like everything in the moment feels like it's taking a lot of time, but in the grand scheme of things, these past three years just flew by so fast. And if you are in this position or if you're about to enter college, just make sure you take every opportunity that presents itself and just make sure that you also keep your well-being in mind. and really just have fun because you won't have any of this experience ever again. But one thing that I know that I'm going to keep up with is making these vlogs for you guys, so make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell click because I have a lot of cool videos in the work, I'm expanding my team, and I'm really going to try to keep pushing out content as I also experience this senior year. You guys can experience it too. The best way to keep up to date with what I'm doing is to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and try to DM me or comment on some pictures and I'll try to get back to you if I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.